Welcome to the Top Boxes Disease Identification video. In this video, we will take a closer look at the common Buxus disease, Volutella buxi, and the best ways to manage and treat it. Blight is a horticultural term for a plant disease typically caused by fungi. Volutella buxi, also known as Pseudonectria buxi, is one such variety that specifically affects Buxus. Initial symptoms, which appear in early spring, frequently resemble winter injury. Volutella blight symptoms begin with delayed emergence of new growth and patches of wilted, discoloured, yellow, red or bronze leaves that gradually increase in size before turning black and falling from the plant. The disease is caused by an opportunistic fungal pathogen that attacks leaves and stems of damaged or stressed plants. Winter injury, poor vigour and stem wounds increase risk for volutella blight all species and cultivars of Buxus are susceptible. Volutella symptoms become apparent in early spring when growth of individual branches is delayed or plants show poor vigour. The volutella pathogen causes stem cankers which girdle stems and result in dieback. Bark may be loose or discoloured around cankers on infected branches. Leaves of affected branches turn light greeny yellow change to red or bronze, and finally become straw in colour. Dead leaves cup upwards and remain attached to branches even after branch death, although leaves may eventually drop. During periods of high humidity, salmon-coloured fruiting structures develop on lower surfaces of affected leaves and stems. These fruiting structures are often visible with or without a hand lens. Other common buxus problems can be confused with volutella blight and in some cases may even occur together. Volutella symptoms develop in early spring on previous year's growth before new growth begins. A distinguishing symptom of boxwood blight is the presence of black streaks along green stems, a symptom absent from volutella. In addition, boxwood blight results in rapid defoliation while dead leaves tend to remain attached to plants for long periods when volutella is the cause. Winter injury may also be confused with volutella blight. Death of foliage and branches due to winter injury occurs on portions exposed to harsh, drying winter winds, while protected branches are unaffected. However, because volutella often develops on winter injured tissues, it may be present as well. The presence of salmon coloured fruiting bodies on symptomatic tissue can aid in distinguishing volutella from environmental damage and from other diseases. Typically, the stress-related pathogen enters through unhealthy and or damaged plant tissue, such as winter injuries or wounded stems. Mature leaves are more resistant to infection than young leaves, and vigorous plants often resist major disease problems as compared to stress plants. The pathogen overwinters in buxus branches, leaves and other plant debris that were infected in the previous season. Emerging spores enter plant tissue at the base of small dead shoots, branch crotches where leaves accumulate, pruning wounds and winter damaged areas. Spores of volutella have a wet, sticky texture and only travel short distances by wind and through water droplets. Volutella blight is spread primarily by movement of infected plants, cuttings, and on contaminated hands, gloves, and tools. In addition, untreated water can be a major source of disease spread through spray irrigation, flood water, runoff water, and wind-driven rain. This disease is often spread through the movement of nursery plants and the use of contaminated tools. To prevent volutella, Keep plants healthy and minimise stress with regular trimming using sharp, clean and well-maintained tools. This improves air circulation and increases penetration of sunlight. Trim plants during dry weather. If using spray irrigation, water plants in the morning so the foliage has plenty of time to dry throughout the day as volatella is more prevalent in overly wet and humid conditions. Avoid heavy mulch, which may keep the growing environment overly damp Instead, use something fibrous like pine bark or pea straw as it improves air circulation under the plant. Treat insect infestations as they appear and clean beds and rake plant debris, especially in autumn. Always remember to prune damaged growth, wipe cutting tools 
and soak your equipment in Top Bucks' health mix between each cut to prevent spread of disease. Shake or rake the plant to remove infected leaves, then dispose of the debris. Also, be consistent with application of Top Bucks' health mix, as this will protect against the infestation on healthy plants, stop the spread in the case of severe infestations, and ensure the fast recovery from damage. Spray plants just before growth appears in spring, and then continue throughout the growing season spraying monthly for the best protection. Plants may benefit from additional volatile of light treatment in autumn and throughout winter, frost permitting to protect late summer growth. The best way to protect against volatile is by promoting plant vigor, managing plant stresses and maintaining a sanitation program which is critical for disease management. This is why Top Bucks' health mix contains not only agents to suppress fungal spores and their spread, but nutrients to promote new and healthy growth. Prune diseased branches when foliage is dry to avoid spreading sticky spore masses. Sanitize pruning tools after working with diseased plants using Top Bucks' health mix. Maintain plant health with proper nutrition and irrigation practices, avoiding excess water and ensuring good soil drainage. Maintain good air circulation by sufficiently spacing plants and pruning dense growth. Rake and destroy fallen leaves and other infected plant parts. Avoid or prevent winter damage by protecting plants from drying winds and extreme exposures or improving nutrition so the leaves are more resistant to damage. Top Bucks' health mix is best applied preventatively at the beginning of spring Applications should begin just before new growth emerges and continue every four weeks if conditions are favorable for infection. Always remember that the correct diagnosis is key and if you are unsure, contact your local horticulturalist or get your plants and soil tested by an agronomist. For updated information, visit our website www.topboxes.com.au or our Instagram or subscribe to our YouTube channel.